And with the ongoing surge in cases here, a number of local schools now moving to fully remote learning. Niagara University, Hilbert College, and Cheektowaga Central Schools, just a few making the switch as they all battle COVID cases in their communities. Tonight, 7 Eyewitness News senior reporter Eileen Buckley shows us what kind of an impact this could have now on students. There is a concern with young people, especially our black and brown children, that already come into the school out of deficit. Keeping students of color in remote learning is creating a setback for putting some students on a path to graduation. Black and Latino males that have some of the lowest test scores, lowest graduation rates, uh, lowest attendance. No one knows that more than educator Dr. Mark Abraham. The former Buffalo School principal is now a professor at Houghton College in Buffalo and SUNY Buffalo State. Buffalo school students have remained fully remote all school year. A recent study by the European Center for Disease and Prevention and Control says closing schools and switching to remote learning does not provide additional protection of a child's health. Abraham agrees. There are several studies that have demonstrated that remote learning does not work. Abraham says school leaders need to think out of the box and partner with private businesses to create ways for getting kids back into classrooms. The Cheektowaga Central School District says for the health and safety of all its students and staff, it will be pivoting back toward full remote learning by this coming Monday. The Frontier School District in Hamburg is moving to all remote learning for at least the next couple of weeks. As soon as we were designated a yellow zone, we had parents emailing, calling, um, you know, doing everything they could to basically say, I'm not going to consent to have my child tested. Frontier School Superintendent Richard Hughes says the yellow zone was not the only reason why the district shifted to remote learning. But he says the state's new rule that schools conduct testing complicates matters. So if it's 20% of our population plus our staff, we're talking 1,000 tests a week. Hugh says there have been a handful of positive test results from schools, but the numbers of quarantine and contact tracing are running high. The numbers, they're triple digits. Eileen Buckley, 7 Eyewitness News.